Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here. Time for another My Little Pony version of the Magic Season 7 Blind Commentary. And today I'm reacting to Episode 15 of Season 7. Title is Triple Threat. And that title doesn't really tell me all that much. It's kind of a phrase that doesn't really bring any specific character to mind. Uh, so I have really no clue what that could be referring to. I mean, usually the phrase Triple Threat uh, is referring to someone who's like specialized in three separate things. Uh, so maybe something to do with that, or maybe it's just involving the number three somehow. I, uh, I don't know. Uh, I do know the writer, though, and it's Josh Hamilton, who, uh, wrote, uh, Parental Glidance earlier this season. Uh, fairly new writer, but the one episode that he's done was pretty impressive, so, uh, that's a good sign. Hopefully this one will be as good or better. Uh, season... Season 7 has been on a real roll lately. The last few episodes have all been completely excellent. And I'm hoping that this one is uh, just as good, that it continues the trend. Uh, anyway, let's just go ahead and get this started. Okay. And here we go. And Ponyville Town Hall, with Twilight setting up is a banner. banner even? Starlight! Are the flowers in place? By which I mean completely out of view. Oh. I'm pretty sure dragons don't like flowers. Oh! Are we and going to be seeing Ember again? Fire flame of friendship. That Is could be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Like, everything looks great. Flaming pretty good there. Up for no reason. Well, he I tends to do that. Reasons. And well, fact, so do you, Twilight. Uh, you've been hanging around Twilight for too long. Yes! <laughs> reason number one. I invited Dragon Lord Ember to Ponyville. Cool. Reason two. The Dragon Lord is a dragon. Reason yes. Two, she's coming here to learn more about friendship. Okay. According to Ember's letters, the dragons are trying to be friends, but competing is in their nature, and it's leading to more and more fights. Hmm. Which brings me to reason number four. The Dragon Lord wants my advice, and as a new official equestrian friendship ambassador to the dragons, I can't let oh. him down. I know you feel a lot Spike of pressure, with the official position now. Spike. That's cool. I, I just want things to be perfect. Dragon ambassador. <gasps> oh, yes. hi, Steve. You're in Ponyville. Of course I am, silly. You invited me, and I'm not one to back out of an invitation. Hey, Twilight. Hey, Starlight. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, I can't believe you did all this for me. No. Right there. Not quite. The stage. What's this so we got like a oh, it's three's a crowd situation here, I guess. Though, thorax over to I don't know if there would be as much conflict ever? here. I think uh, these two would be pretty chill with each other. like a good idea. How are you going to entertain them both? Oh, well, there is that. It's a bit too much for Spike to handle. So, that might be the problem. But, uh... Yeah, I don't really know how Thorax and Ember would get along. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. Magic makes it all complete. Very best friends. Okay. So, Spike episode. I completely forgot. Thorax wrote and said he needed to talk, and I told him to come over. I didn't realize it was the same day I invited Ember. Good job, Spike. <laughs> Like each other. Yeah. Probably not. Ember is tough and self-assured and intimidating. And Thorax is Spike. I'm so glad you invited me. You are one of my closest, nicest, most caring, most understanding friends ever. Okay. Ooh, is that ice in the shape of a dragon? What? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't remember him quite being like that. Or worse, they'll hate each other. And if the Ember likes you though, Spike, so I think she'll be fine with a kind of dorky changeling. Starting a war that could ruin Equestria as we know it. That's taking things a bit far. <laughs> wow. Quite the imagination there. Pull it together. So, Thorax, everything good with you? Well, honestly, no, not really. I have indigestion. I'm not sure oh. if it's the new diet or stress, or, or maybe it's both. No. And there she is. Yeah, it really could be both. And it might be affecting my sleeping, too. I'm a real uh -oh. tosser and turner. Sounds like you really need to unwind. Uh, how about a uh, 
a trip to the castle. <laughs> you can't miss that view. Yes, the castle. I'll give you a personal tour. Okay. Just pass him off on to Twilight. Aren't you coming? Yeah, I'm just gonna grab some ice cream for us and catch up. <laughs> It's good to see her again. Oh, cool. <laughs> Dragon Lord Ember. I like the pony furthest on the left. She had a cool design. I, Spike of Ponyville, welcome you to Ponyville. I gotta work on my official speech. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Aww. <laughs> The hug thing. <laughs> yeah. This place has a lot of colors. In the Dragonlands, everything's just rocks or the color of ash. <gasps> well, yeah. That's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Twilight. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm Starlight. Starlight Glimmer. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry. I'm. Really gonna have to get used to these pony names. Lots of lights and shiny things. <laughs> uh, so where is Twilight? Can't tell she ponies apart, us? can't you? We should go visit her then. Part of friendship is saying hi to your friends, right? Uh, well, yeah, but good job on. You're making weird noises. Yes. Do you have a stomach ache? I think I feel one coming on. Well, you know what us dragons say. Push past the pain. Now let's go. Or we could stay here. Or I could go without you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like her. Yeah, uh. I do too. Good. They're not here. What was that? Uh, I, I said. Better watch out, Spike, or Starlight's here. gonna steal her for her harem. <laughs> Be hungry from your travels, please. Ever expanding fleet of ships. Present you with an official friendship welcome banquet. Yeah. So this is something friends do. I can get used to this. <laughs> Actually, that's not food. Dragon Club gems. Fine, but you're telling Twilight what happened to her wall. <laughs> Just keep her here. Okay, yeah! <laughs> Enjoy all the uh, crystal things. Where are you going? I thought this was an official friendship banquet. Just gotta use a little dragon drill. So, this is my comfy chair for fictional reads. This is my studying chair because the hard back keeps me awake. Oh, Spike! I'm so glad you're here. Well, this castle visit is getting weird. <laughs> Twilight really likes chairs. I guess she oh, does. What happened to the ice cream? What? Oh, right! Uh, they ran out! Hey, I'm really sorry, but I gotta borrow Twilight quickly. Ah! Be right back! Uh, but we didn't get a talk yet! Uh here I know I saw you coming and had to distract thorax by showing him chairs why did you bring ember to the castle of all places I don't know ember was asking for you thorax wants to talk with me we need to switch places it might be getting suspicious all we have to do is make both thorax and ember feel special and keep them apart for a few more hours we can do this okay let's see if you can Well, that's interesting. It's calling you. Apparently, you also have to solve a friendship problem. Uh huh. The plot thickens. Calling me? That's never happened before. Amazing. The map is really reaching out. Yeah. Not a good time. I get it. Are you here? Ember's eaten all of Twilight's decorations and. Twilight! <gasps> Glowing map. Glowing spikes. That's not good. I know! At least your friendship problem is in Ponyville? Okay, okay. To pull this off, I'm gonna need both of you to help. 
You two need to keep Ember and Thorax separate while I get ice cream. You mean find the friendship problem? Yes! Hm. Go easy on me. I'm under a lot of pressure. Friendship problem? <laughs> you got a friendship problem here? It's rarely this easy. Friendship problems? Oh, you're friendship cute. Problems? Any pony got a friendship problem here? No? Okay. Well, oh! I think vanilla strawberry. <laughs> Lyron Bon Bon. Ember, there you are. Okay, right. More pony hugs. How's your trip to Ponyville so far? Well, I'm certainly learning a lot about friendship. I had no idea it was polite to decorate your walls in your friend's favorite foods. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd Spike and Starlight go? I feel like I'm being avoided. No, they're just making sure everything is perfect for your welcome party later. In the meantime, how about I show you around town? Sounds good. I can't exactly learn about friendship if I don't make new friends. <sighs> uh, hey, Thorax. Um, Twilight and Spike had some boring official paperwork to deal with. So, looks like you and I get to hang out. What would you like to do? But I wanted to talk with Spike. He said he'd be right back. Oh, you will. But first, how about we grab a bite to eat? Yeah. Well, you Both know, leave in the castle. It, I am a little hungry. Is there a dining room in the castle? No! I mean, yeah, but that's castle food. If you want the good stuff, we gotta go to town. Phew. And that's why you should never let cupcake flavors get in the way of your <laughs> huh. I guess I never thought of it that way. Thanks, Spike. It's good to see her having wines again. Oh, come on, glow! Spike! There you are. Uh, done with your boring paperwork, I see. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> I am done with whatever Starlight says I was doing. Thorax wanted to get out of the castle. I thought coming to town was a really, really great idea. Well, maybe now we can talk. Sure. I'll and you guys to it. first of all, I want to say thank you for having me over. When is I'm Twilight going to show leadership up? Pickle, and I could use some advice. Well, I definitely want to help you out as quickly as possible. Wow. Here's my problem. There's this renegade group of changelings who still feed off of love. Even though I say, figures hey, there would be let's not do that anymore. They say, hey, this is how we've been doing things for hundreds of years. It's like they don't want to. <laughs> Even though I'm the leader and I asked. I'm kinda of, kinda of glad that they weren't all reformed completely, that there are some that still are. Hello! I like am that. Ember, daughter of Torch, winner of the Gauntlet of Fire, and Lord of all dragons. <laughs> Usually when I do that, the dragons are eager to meet me. That's not how ponies make friends. Ah, uh, I get it. Oh. This is a weird friendship thing you ponies do, right? <laughs> oh! Oh! Just ruining Derpy's muffin. Uh, you guys are in town too? What are you talking about? You've been with me this whole time. No, I'm Starlight. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Can't, can't tell the difference. Me. You both look and act so much alike. What? <laughs> they said to me they just keep saying the same thing. You know, I think my leadership problem started in childhood. That must have been three. Three's a different story. And you definitely got to hear it. Wow. But the story about my brother was when I was two. Or was I one? This is my seat. I saw it first. Well, I got here first. Thorax, uh, excuse me for a second. Ponies, please, if I may, I think I can help solve this friendship problem. You two should sit together. You both like the same place, you both ordered muffins, you're both ponies. I think if you made a little effort, you'd find it your own. <laughs> Okay, well, that had to have that worked. Come on, Spikes. Glow. 
No. Hey, that was really great advice. So, what do you think I should do? <gasps> yeah. Actually, I uh, need a minute alone to uh, really come up with great advice. I'll be right back. <sighs> great. No problem. <laughs> Leave me again. Oh. It's fine. <laughs> Poor Steve. I'm just saying, you're both purple ponies with purple hair. You both True. have cutie marks with sparkly things. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's more of a glimmer. <laughs> How is that different? Just oh, go God, by the wings. Spike, can you please tell these two I'm right? They look very similar. Uh, well, you know, one thing French do is let something go when it's upsetting some pony else. But I'm right. Besides, who are you to be telling me about friendship? I've barely seen you all day. Uh, well, I've seen you. Are you calling me a liar? Oh, wow. Hey, no one yells at my friend. Oh. Well, that's impressive use of changeling power. Spike, get away from the bear. Actually, the bear is a changeling, and he's quite gentle. Not anymore. Oh. Steve got serious. <gasps> Away, Spike. I'm not gonna let this dragon harm a scale on your back. You back away. I'm not gonna let you harm him. Wait, did you say you're not gonna let me harm Spike? <laughs> yeah. But that's what I'm doing. Uh, what? Yeah. What? Uh, Equestria, as we know it, is over. The war that pits Changeling against Dragon is about to begin, and it's all my fault. My title of Equestria's friendship ambassador is a lie. Oh, hey. You guys aren't fighting? Why would we be fighting? <laughs> because I accidentally invited you both over to Ponyville on the same day? So, so what? Yeah. So I was trying to keep you apart because I didn't think you'd get along. Oh, Getting all worked I up over nothing. You just you like I thought. Like me just because I'm a dragon and I'm bad at friendship? No, no, of course not. But wait, isn't that why you're here? I can say I'm bad at friendship. You can't say it about me. You know what? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Aww. Wait, please. I'm sorry. No, no, it's cool. You thought I would be too soft, and someone like Ember would never respect me, just like my own changelings. No. Wow. Thorax, wait. Oh no. What have I done? Why are you still here? <sighs> because I'm having trouble eating my pack, so I don't really want to go home. Wait, you're in charge? Oh, boy, you need to be more assertive. Well, that's my problem. I don't know how. I tried asking <laughs> him to please follow my directions. I even offered a prize, and then... Shh, stop you're not meant to be a leader, Steve. That's how you do it. Whoa, that just gave me chills. I know you have it in you. You turned into a bear to defend Spike. Huh. I guess I can be tough when I'm defending my friends, but when I'm just enforcing my rules, I, I feel unsure of myself. There's nothing to be unsure of. You're the leader for a reason. Now people are going to ship these Make two. Make a decision and let it be known that the decision is final. And if that doesn't work, turn into a bear. <laughs> That's good advice. I know well, will that work when they can all so, do it? What's your deal? Why do you think you're so bad at friendship? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, you have to. How else are you going to solve your problems? Through feats of strength and fire duels, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, how does that help? Crushing another dragon in competition establishes my dominance and makes me feel great. Sounds right, good. But uh, how do you think they feel? Humiliated, ashamed. They probably want to run away and bury themselves under a rock and never come out. They're probably sad, kind of low, definitely not happy. That's because that kind of competition can divide you, and it doesn't get to the heart of the issue. 
Talking about your feelings does. I think I'm allergic to feelings. <laughs> you know, you don't wow. have to be savvy or huggy feely about it, but you should let your friends know how you feel. Uh, I know where we can start. Where? Oh, Spike. <laughs> I got there. Hmm. I think they're gone. They probably never want to see me again. Or they want to see you now. <laughs> Guess what, Spike? I know. I'm so sorry. Let me talk about this. I feel <laughs> mad. <sighs> okay, that's a good first attempt. <laughs> now maybe try to be more specific. I'm <sighs> upset. You have every right to be. I know I do. And I know I need to tell you how I feel because my friend, Thorax, said it would make me feel better. And it does! Yeah, and I have no problem telling you what you did was wrong because my friend Ember is helping me be more certain. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should be mad at me. I was so worried about how it could go wrong, I didn't even think about how it could go right. Can you forgive me? I really do feel better. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Me too. Ah. <laughs> Again? <laughs> oh. No way! And that was it. What's really happening? I saw the friendship problem. Actually, you created the friendship problem by not trusting your friends. Yeah, but then I solved it. Kind of weird how the map would. I should have told my two friends about each other immediately instead of assuming they wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, along. friendship but problems Jack's involving the person it sends is kind of weird. Telling each other what you learned all the time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yep. <laughs> so, as a show of unity, I present the Dragonfire Flame of Friendship to both Dragon Lord Ember and Thorax, leader of the Changeling Pack. May the Flame of Friendship. Burn for eternity. Wow. You should have more things made of rocks. Hmm. <laughs> okay. And there we go. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I uh, definitely enjoyed that one. Uh, not quite as much as the last couple, but that's just because they were so exceptional. Uh, this was a really solid, really enjoyable episode, but not quite on that level. Uh, it was really nice to see Ember again. That was probably the highlight for me. She, I love her character, love her design, just love the voice, just everything about her, and she was great here. Lots of personality and uh, just such a cool character. Uh, and I think this was the most personality we also saw from Thorax. He, uh, I, I love this whole neurotic angle that they're going for for him. Uh, <laughs> even though, yeah, he seems completely in over his head in terms of being a leader. Uh, just don't know if him being the leader is a good idea at this point. Uh, <laughs> though, uh, that's kind of what makes it fun. Uh, Spike, uh, despite being a Spike episode, technically, I don't know if this was really an impressive showing for Spike. He was just kind of there and I mean it wasn't he was kind of an idiot uh, just for how he let things get away from him and uh, really overthinking it all uh, and uh, I mean I'm reminded of 
uh, DWK and the whole Spike Twilight logic switch thing. Uh, definitely it was in the Twilight position for this episode. Uh, very much so. <laughs> Because, uh, I mean, Spike in the past has got on Twilight's case about how she overthinks things like this and gets way out of hand. So just seeing him do that, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess when it's personal, things get different, but it, it's still, I mean, Spike, you know it's not going to lead to that. <laughs> uh, I mean, the whole, like... Imagine sequence with uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the war, Ember and Thorax going at each other, and the explosion. That was pretty hilarious. Uh, also, I loved seeing Lyra get some lines again. Actually, <laughs> getting a speaking part and having the same voice. That continuity, that's important. Uh, and, uh,. Yeah, even worked in a bit of derpy. That's nice. Like, I mean, we're kind of pandering a bit, but at this point, uh, I welcome it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it was... It had a fair amount of stuff going for it. I'm glad to see, uh, like, the changelings, uh, that there are some who are still dissenting, who still do want to uh, keep the old ways and still, like play the part that they were before uh that's actually good to know uh and it's also cool to see uh thorax use his changeling powers to turn into a bear uh <laughs> that's pretty impressive we haven't really seen changelings before use their powers to do something quite like that to turn into something so much bigger and more powerful than they are like physically uh but, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, I was amused by <laughs> Ember not being able to tell Starlight and Twilight apart. Really should have just focused on the wings. That's the key there. One has wings, one doesn't. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the giveaway. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, don't really have anything else to say. It was a good one. Uh, could have been better. I mean, the resolution... I mean, really, there was no issue here. There was It was all imagined. So, uh, I guess, yeah, it worked. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Uh, it felt a bit weird for me, but uh, at the same time, I think it worked. I saw what they were going for, and... Uh, it was a pretty good scene. Uh, and yes, gonna be some new shipping, I imagine. Uh, thorax and Ember. Uh, though, I think I still prefer Spike and Ember. Just because, yeah, I mean, they're both dragons. So, there's that. <laughs> uh, and that's kind of the disappointment. I kind of was hoping for more... Uh, interactions between Spike and Ember in the episode, but uh, Spike was all over the place, and uh, it was so, like, separated, and he only got a few moments with Ember. Uh, but still, it was good. Uh, and the map? Uh, the map's getting kind of weird. It's, like, really expanding, as was pretty much referenced there. Uh, <laughs> first, it like sends Starlight somewhere and now it can do the same with Spike and uh, it can apparently even tell you to solve friendship problems involving yourself which I really don't know how to feel about that that's kind of uh, weird <laughs> don't know if you need the map to tell you to sort out your own issues uh, that's just kind of something you would like, normally arrive on. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, good episode. Hope you liked the commentary. Let me know if you did, and see you in the next one.